Ah, the life of a rock star. Sleep all day and up all night. Anyways, this is another video. New wave of British metal or heavy metal. Now we got two British bands. Who we got? Featuring this one first band, Holocaust. Great band. Holocaust. Formed in 1978 by John Mortimer. Heavy Metal Mania was the first release, the first commercial release to feature the term heavy metal. True enough, huh? The reason why they called their band Holocaust is because they wanted to sound like very aggressive, loud, like a nuclear explosion. That's what they wanted. Now, Metallica covered one of their songs called Small Hours, which is on their Garage Days revisited album and CD. Check out Holocaust. Go to www.holocaustofficial.com. And what I got rolling here right now is on the English label Phoenix Phoenix Records 45 Holocaust Live in the nightclub at Edinburgh September 10th 1981 So let's get on with the show. Let's play Force Down Breakdown. Down breakdown is that song called? Three new tracks. You guys, this was not the first that came out. This actually came out after this. <clears throat> and I actually had this album before. The 45. Now, great band. Once again on Phoenix Records. Like, some of these songs are groovy, they're heavy metal, some of them is just like, um,
more like rock and roll metal, like Motorhead or something. Listen to this. Cry in shame. I think I heard this on the radio back in the day, I'm pretty sure. It's so damn familiar. Version of the heavy metal mania. Folks, this is 1981. What a beautiful year. I was there. <clears throat> 1981. I was a teenager in 81. I was already a teenager in 1981. Man, the early 80s, you know, going through the 80s, when 1987 came along, I felt the change in the wind. Didn't feel quite right. I felt those golden times were just slowly slipping by. Gotta keep a move on. Great band. Find it, man. Buy it. Support the band. Go to their website. <clears throat> Do you 
www.holocaustben or holocaustofficial holocaustofficial.com Got lots of great LPs coming up, man. And got a lot of punk rock to do too. A lot of goodies. All you punkers out there, have some patience. This band out at Maze Records, original record. Bet you none of these record labels are around anymore. Well, anyways, now, introducing Sabbat, another English band. From Nottingham, Nottinghamshire. They produced like three LPs. Besides this one, History Time to Come. They also came out with uh, Dream Weaver in 1989. And Morning Has Broken 1991. Although they got singles and, and stuff like that in between and EPs and other videos and stuff. This album came out in 88, I'm pretty sure. Yep, 88. <coughs> wow. Okay. Much songs to play, huh? which does not get boring it's entertaining all the way through it's catchy all the way through just one of those gems one of those real heavy heavy albums and it's a gem man like this is one of my favorite albums you know it's it's catchy all the way through it's not boring it doesn't get boring it doesn't have like oh you know four songs that are really good and the others are okay like this whole album rips Okay, we're gonna do eye for an eye. Oh, 
song. Now, Andy, okay, the band members are Andy Sleep, Martin Walker, Fraser Krask. Don't know if I pronounced that right. But anyways. Recorded and mixed at Horror Sound Studios in Hanover, West Germany. Is Hanover, right? September 1987. It came out in 1988. Now, we're going to do one more song <coughs> called The Church Bazaar. Hallelujah, my brothers! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! I'm not religious. There's no fucking God, okay? Alright. Here we go! You know, seriously, if people have been doing evil things, man, they'd be, if it really wasn't God, people would be really afraid to be doing all these evil things on the planet, you know? It's like, come on now. Anyways, here we go with Church Bazaar. Let's see, I want to get the want to get the beginning. from from England hope you enjoyed them <clears throat> gonna get a move on like and subscribe like and subscribe support these bands sure there's gonna be credits going down you know you go to these guys' links so check them out old school metal and metal we trust so take care of yourselves stay tuned for more I got a whole, whole shitload of records, man. Metal and punk. I haven't even done any punk. Just, it's all coming, man. Oh, rare stuff. Album's worth the hundreds of dollars even, too. It's crazy, man. But, hey, I lived that generation. 
70s and 80s, I was there. Take care.